Editing videos is one of the most important things of making videos and having the right tools to be able to make your videos stand out from the crowd is even more important. And in this video, I want to show you how you can achieve things like putting your logo on a big mountain or having it right next to your car and how to mask and track a person with just a few clicks of a mouse. Yeah, this is wicked. If this is your first time here, I just want to say, hey, hope that everything is good with you and that you're going to enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. There's two plugins that I'm going to talk about in this video. And the first one is called MRoto AI, which is basically tracking everything that you decide that it's going to track. And it's doing this with AI magic, right? We're going to dive into that soon. And the second one is M Tracker Surface, which allows you to do stuff like you saw in the intro and just put your logo up on a mountaintop or attach it on top of your car, whatever you can think of. And it just works so well. And Motion VFX is calling this Cine Studio. And I'm going to drop a link in the description so you can head over there and check it out yourself. For those of you that have been wanting to have a tracker to be able to track skin tones or people in your shots in Final Cut Pro, this is it. And I also want to say a huge thank you to Motion VFX for actually sponsoring this video. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to put your logo up on top of the mountain. So I'm going to uh, find a nice clip here. Oof, Iceland, love you. And then, of course, I'm going to add a custom LUT to this. Just can drag this in. And we are going to add my prime LUT. Bam, look at that. Wow. Just gonna increase the brightness ever so slightly. Looks good. So now we are going to go into the effects and then we're going to search for M track and then we have M tracker surface. I'm gonna drag this on top of the clip and we're going to play this backwards. So I'm gonna start at the end here. Just go one frame back. Gonna go up to the inspector from here you can see that we have a bunch of different settings when we have M tracker surface selected. And the first thing that we're going to do is that you can see here that this area, we have the sort of like best year shape marked. I want to mark the part of the island where I want my, the island. I want to mark the part of the mountain where I want my logo to be able to be visible or that we want to track basically. Here we go. Nice. And Clicking here, you can see planar mode. We have perspective, but we also have something that's called mesh. So it's sort of like tracks deforming surfaces such as skin and that kind of stuff, which is sick, but you can also apply it to this. And now we're going to hit tracker and hit the track backwards arrow. Click that. And voila, the plugin is tracking. Once it's done, we are going to be able to scrub through and you can see how precise this tracker is it's wicked how like dead on the mountain it is now i want to add in my logo the prime gear logo and i'm going to put it below the actual main footage that we have so that it's not visible and we're going to go back to the main clip and we're going to go over to the inspector and there's something that's called the drop zone the arrow that you can see right here click that choose the logo and apply that to the clip Look at that. That doesn't look good, does it? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first frame that we started our track. And then we're going to go up to the image distortion tool. We're going to click that. And now we can adjust the entire image and skew it, distort it, do whatever we want to make it look good here on the mountain. And we're going to have it a little bit angled, something like this. That looks pretty good, pretty decent. We have it tracked, right? It looks sick, just like that. But you can just go in to the blending mode in the inspector once again and choose overlay. Let's play this back and see how it looks. Hello, Prime Gear logo in Iceland. 
I don't know about you, but the preciseness of this tracking plugin is wicked. It is so incredibly cool to see motion VFX dropping plugins like this and being able to utilize this within Final Cut Pro, especially since I'm a heavy user of Final Cut Pro. The only limit to this plugin is going to be your imagination because there's so many things that you can do with it. But I'm gonna make a future video where we dive a little bit deeper into this. Let me show you the next plugin, which is MRoto AI. So I got a nice clip here of my friend from Dead by April running on the beach in Gotland. Super cool. But one of the things that I noticed with it when I grade this is that I wanna make sure that this clip is sort of like brightening up him. And what I could do is add my prime LUT to this, and then you're gonna see that it turns really blue and really dark. And then we need to add a color wheels tab, and then we're gonna up the global, down a bit with the shadows, and maybe add in a little bit of warmth into the entire shot, somewhere around here so the sky is filling up and maybe up the saturation a little bit but you can see here that stuff out is very dark that is no longer a problem with mroto ai let's go down to the effects panel and type in mroto drag this on top of the clip boosh and as you can see here there's a little bit of a magic wand tool so what we're going to do is that we are going to have the output merged and then precision fast and then everything else we can sort of like adjust, but we're gonna select the magic wand and just drag on top of Stafa here. You see how good it actually is at selecting him? Okay, so now you're probably thinking, well, Peter, that tracking is gonna be impossible to do. Let's go to tracker and hit track. Take a look at this freaking magic. Do you see how precise the body is tracked in this shot? what all the way up until this point like absolutely no issues so what we can do now is just duplicate this drag it down and then we can turn off the mroto ai we can go to the main clip so what we're going to do now is that we're going to choose masked video and then we're going to choose invert mask and then we're going to go down to the bottom clip and choose the color wheels and check this out now can you increase the brightness of Staffa and sort of like adjust him and him alone. So I can make him brighter, but I can also go in to the main clip and drag down the highlights of only the clouds in the background if I want to do that or brighten that up, give them a little bit of, you know, pinker, more orangey tint without it affecting him. And to be able to adjust the mask, there's a bunch of things. You can just go back and you can choose mask only, and then you can see the mask. You can adjust the smoothness of it and sort of like smoothen things out. Maybe take a little bit of shrink or expand, a little bit of blur on the edges, and then go back, choose the masked video, play this back. And now you can see that he sort of like pops out a little bit more than what he would do otherwise. This was done in less than five minutes. There's gonna be so many different things that you can apply this on. I'm gonna show you another example here of my friend Oscar riding a bike, okay? So we're gonna choose MRoto AI and drag that on top. I'm just gonna make sure that we apply the prime light, brighten things up a little bit. Okay, but now we wanna adjust the background of this shot and we're gonna start here at the last shot and then we're gonna just drag on top of the entire bike something like that and then we're gonna hit track and then we're gonna track this backwards not only is it incredibly precise but it also scales the entire thing up and down without you having to do anything else even his hand when he waved wow there's no i have never seen anything like this we're going to duplicate this and now we're going to go down to the bottom clip we're going to go into the color wheels we can adjust highlights off the bike and i'm going to give it a little bit of an orange tint because we have you know the sun in the background let me just turn the effect on or off and you're going to be able to see we are only tracking oscar when we have him tracked we can adjust just him and not affect anything else. So for those of you that are working in Final Cut Pro, Cine Studio is something that I can highly recommend because this 
is going to help me in so many different things when it comes to masking, tracking, and just making sure that I can color grade my videos the way that I want, adjust someone's face or adjust someone's t-shirt. You don't have to actually go in and do the rotoscoping because the Roto AI does it for you. Link in the description. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you in the next video.